We are entering the most grateful and generous time of the year between sharing gifts with those we love and giving to those who we may not even know. To talk more about a unique local opportunity and philanthropy in general, today we'd like to welcome Eric Wilkie and also, of course, the Executive Director of the FM Area Foundation for Make-A-Wish, Billy Joe Zielinski. Thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. A uh, perfect time for our Wish Wednesday. <laughs> we want to start uh, with Eric today. For those who may not be familiar, please tell us a little bit more about your area foundation. Yeah, the Fargo-Moorhead Area Foundation is the oldest and largest community foundation in our region, uh, established in 1960. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> established in 1960 and uh, we help donors maximize their philanthropy in order to create a vibrant community full of opportunities for everyone and uh, we're celebrating 61 years this year and we celebrated and marked that uh, amazing opportunity with a uh, over 61 million given out to our nonprofits in the last 61 years and so uh, we're really wow. grateful for the support of so many donors and in 2020 alone uh, nearly six and a half million given out to nonprofits in just that one year and so we're uh, thankful to be invited to be on here with Billy and uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation is another group that has been supported by the Area Foundation and just uh, thrilled to uh, talk about uh, a little bit about our caring catalog that's coming up soon too. Okay. Oh my goodness, looking through the caring catalog. And every year when we look at all of the, the different nonprofits, it's just incredible how many uh, charitable organizations we have. Uh, Billy, so can you talk a little bit about, you know, why it is great to hear things like this, that people are giving and they're charitable and we have the, the giving catalog. Yeah, so this is another avenue, another way, and we're so grateful for the FM Area Foundation and the donors who give through that Area Foundation and the Caring Catalog to look at these, uh, I like to say, four impact organizations um, and to see how that they can make a difference. because. There's a lot of joy in just giving, Lisa. We've talked yes. about that, right? You get a lot of joy mm -hmm. when you give. And also it gives us a lot of joy so that we can, for our organization, we're looking to grant the next thousand wishes. We just celebrated our 1,000th wish this past year. And we want to have people come alongside us and help us create more life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. And so talking about philanthropy and, and finding new uh, people to, to love giving, why is this such a great time of year to do it as well and really have this push? Yeah, this, the, the next two months are really the most generous time of year for tax purposes and otherwise. But I think people are looking to, again, share with others, share their treasures with others. And I think that I would encourage people when they're looking through the catalog to look at uh, those organizations, those four impact organizations who are, you know, have a vision, have a, a vision for growth and really helping them and know that every one of those worthy causes, um, those individuals at every one of those organizations from the front desk to the fundraiser to the, to the program person to the executive director are working toward their cause and they can be part of that. They want to make a difference and we want to help them be able to make their philanthropy go further. How can people find out more about this uh, Caring Catalog? Well, thanks for asking. Um, we're really excited this year. Uh, we, we talked about being 61 years old. We also have over $61,000 worth of incentive gifts that we're going to be giving away. So that's an opportunity for donors to be able to uh, be drawn in order to give more money away to a charity they love or for charities to get a, win a drawing in order to win or get more money for their charities. And so our g Caring Catalog runs from November 29th to December 13th. And that caring catalog will come out in about uh, the week of uh, Thanksgiving. And you can, you can visit the caring catalog online at areafoundation.org. Click on caring catalog. But also it will be located in our local grocery stores. You can pick up the actual magazine with over 100 charities inside of there, uh, including Make-A-Wish. And uh, these charities are really working hard for their year end, trying to put a project together to encourage people of this community, Cass and Clay County, to be generous and help them in the year end. And so uh, areafoundation.org. Uh, or pick one up at your local Hornbachers, at your local grocery store, and uh, go through the magazine, find a charity to love. And we're all about connecting mm -hmm. people with purpose at the FM Area Foundation, making giving easy and encouraging philanthropy in our amazing region. Eric, Billy, Joe, uh, remember Make-A-Wish definitely as we move through the, uh, the season. This is just a really important time. All year is important, but mm -hmm. making those wishes come true during the holiday season is so important as well. Thank you guys for coming in and for all that you do. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today, we are going to be checking in with the...
the experts at Sanford Health about helping our children deal with their emotions.